So, good evening everybody, this is March 18th, 2011, Breaking in CS, coming at you again with another vlog. This is like three days in a row, I've actually taken a evening walk and vlogged, except it's a little colder tonight, so probably not going to last as long, but uh, you never know. So, I'd really like to go ahead and just get this done. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to get healthy and all that stuff, but I kind of like to not get sick too, you know, so probably just going to go up to the... Nina Eagles Club and back or something. But anyway, I actually have something I can talk about tonight for a change, something I was going to plan. Well, it's not something I planned to talk about, but it's something that kind of came up in a message exchange. Um, because there's been a lot of, like, controversy about uh, that whole cigar thing. I acknowledge that it, it totally goes against the promise I made never to take another puff of a cigarette. But many people will argue, myself included, that cigars and cigarettes are not really the same thing. I mean, I mean, they they seem the same, you know, to to people who like just want to blindly hate on the whole smoking thing altogether. And I don't want to sound like some asshole about this or anything, but for one thing, you don't inhale cigars, and that was clearly said in the video. He said, "Don't inhale," and I didn't. So I didn't take in anything except for. A little bit of the taste. I've never had a friend who smoked cigars before, so it was really kind of a special thing. But yeah, like I said, to, the, to those who feel betrayed by that, I am truly sorry. I didn't mean for it to come across that way. You know, it's, in a way, I kind of did it because I knew it would be shocking to people, but I didn't realize that they were going to interpret it as me going back to smoking or or falling back into old habits because it's not like that at all. It's just one thing that I did one time for the fun of it in the heat of the moment because it was a special occasion and that kind of thing. And that's all it was and that's all it's going to be. There's no smoking. I'm not a smoker. Any more than someone who drinks, say, one beer every two years is an alcoholic, you know. Uh, and that's all I have to say on that matter. They also said they missed the Jealous Guy days and I found that kind of ironic seeing as how Jealous Guy is the one who did all the smoking, you know. And a lot of times when people say that, when people say I miss the Jealous Guy days, it's like they're saying they miss the days that I smoked. There's no chance of that ever happening. I'm not going back to it. I can't afford it for one thing. Actually, I guess I probably could now, but that's beside the point. I'm not going back to it. I guess it was a blessing that I was stuck at that job for long enough so that I didn't have a choice about it, so I couldn't smoke. So it kept me off of the smokes for the for the two years that it would take for me to finally come to a point where I realized that I had no desire to go back. So yeah, but, uh, but the thing of it is, and this leads into kind of a theory I have, like when people say they wish you'd go back to how you used to be, it makes me wonder like how much I've really changed uh, and I mean people do change basically what I'm saying is that you know no matter how good a musical band is it seems like there's always somebody out there saying that they wish they'd go back to how they used to be there's bands out there that I think in my opinion are every bit as good as they used to be like bands like Red Hot Chili Peppers and Foo Fighters and Green Day I, I, as far as I'm concerned they're every bit as good as they used to be but I see their more recent music videos, I see people in the comments saying they're not as good as they used to be, or I wish they'd go back to their roots, I wish they'd go back to how they used to be before they sold out, or whatever it is. And what I'm trying to figure out is, is there a band in existence that's been, excuse me, uh, hiccup there, is there a band in existence that's been around for more than 10 years that people don't say that about. So my theory is that when people say they miss a band's old sound, it's not actually the old sound that they miss. It's younger days. Because it's only natural, it's only natural to miss your younger days, to miss the way the things used to be. You know, when you go back and listen to an album like Dookie by Green Day, you know, it's hard not to love that album because of the memories that's associated with it. It's the same thing with video games. People stand by 8-bit and 16-bit video games and continue to insist that those are the best games around. When the truth is that back then, when that was all we had, we dreamed about 3D games. 
we dreamed about it like like it would be the greatest thing ever if you could play a game in 3D. That would be the most amazing thing ever. Now we have that, but we don't appreciate it, and it's not as good as we thought it would be. And the reason it's not as good is because we're not young anymore. We can't appreciate it. We don't have the capacity because we miss our younger days. And so consequently now we got all these people, and myself included, going around saying that 8-bit, 16-bit games are better than the 3D games are. And it's almost impossible for me to fathom how you could argue that with, I mean, I know a game is not all graphics, but you look at the scope and the story and the things that they brought to life in some of these games, it's just impossible for me to say that there's no epicness to that. Yeah, so that's kind of what was on my mind. It's, I, I don't want people to stop saying, I don't want people to be afraid to say their opinion, because if that's how you really feel, you're more than entitled to that opinion. And if you express that opinion to me, I'm totally cool with it. I can understand. In some ways, I miss it myself. I miss the younger days too, but I can't go back to then. I can't go back to the person I was then. I can't imagine what it's like to be hopeless like I was back then because I'm not hopeless anymore and you guys have made that a reality for me now that I have something to hope for, something to look forward to, and I never had that before. So I was a different person then because I thought I had nothing to look forward to, because I thought that my life would have no meaning and that I was just going to have to strive harder to find meaning myself. And maybe in that respect, I was a better person because I tried harder to look for meaning, whereas now it just comes to me from every which way but losing. I don't even know how to deal with it. So maybe I am a different person, and maybe I'm not as interesting or cool as I used to be. And if that's the case, I'm more than willing to face that reality or that fact or that opinion or whatever it may be. But like I said before, you know, if, if that's how you feel, don't think that I'm going to be mad about that because I'm not. I just... It's just one of those things I've discovered about the world that, you know, some things you just can't change, some things you just can't avoid, there's certain realities about the world and about how we change as people, and it's really hard to deal with that, but, you know, it's just, it's just a part of life, and I've accepted that, and I hope you can too, but, um, I don't know what else to say, really, I'm just kinda, like I said, I'm going to talk it out my ass, it's just coming as it goes.